Hey guys, it's your boy T, and I got my girl A. Hey. And we are 365 Horror Vlogs, the channel where we attempt to watch every single horror movie in existence. Today, we're going to be watching The Terrifier. <laughs> Again, this is a 2016 movie, so I've got to start out with the caveat that we do the Marvel thing here. If the movie's more than a year old, we don't feel any way spoiling it, so there will probably be some light spoilers, if not heavy spoilers, in this movie. We're just going to talk about it freely, so if you want to watch this movie without being spoiled, pause this review, quickly go watch the movie, come back, make sure you come back, that part's important. Yeah. Come back, watch this review, and tell us if you agree with what we thought of the movie. Yeah. Um, that's what I suggest you do, so this is your fair warning now, and let's get right into the Terrifier. Uh, this movie was directed by Damien Leone. Uh, he's pretty much only done this movie. This is kind of one of his directing debuts. Uh, it's starring Jenna Canal. Uh, she's had a couple little, couple little TV spots. It's starring Samantha Scaff Scafidi. And it's also starring David Howard Thornton, who is the Terrifier. Uh, he's pretty much only had little parts like Joker in Gotham and some other TV stuff. So yeah, let's get right into the Terrifier. So, let's get right into the, to the overview of this movie. This movie is about a couple of girls who are stalked by a sadistic clown. It takes place over one bloody night. Um, what were your first impressions of the Terrifier? <laughs> it was it was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> hey it was uh that's all really i have to say yeah i, I get it i i yeah so for me i'm gonna say that right off the bat i could just tell that this was gonna be a great slasher flick yeah. a good clown if you're afraid of clowns i could tell it was gonna be super bloody and stuff like that so i really was looking forward to yeah. this movie so let's get right into it all right so first thing we're gonna get into is the scare factor that's how tense or how kind of scared this movie left you uh, what did you think about the scare factor in Terrifier? I wasn't overly scared in mm -hmm. the movie. I think this has a residual scare factor to it. Like, we could watch the movie here and everything's cool, chill, whatever. And then if we have to go out to the store at nighttime, do you best believe I'm looking behind and like, is there, what the fuck is that? Yeah. What's wrong? I'm fine. Why? You keep looking over your shoulder. Is exactly. There a yeah. There? What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? Like that kind of residual scare factor, but yeah. yeah. Overall, I'm gonna agree with you. I guess maybe you have a little bit of uh, that would be more creepy the creep factor about mm -hmm. it but scare factor mm -hmm. the movie didn't really scare me it didn't really have too many jumps i mean maybe one or two minor startles the terrifier he didn't scare me at all although he was an awesome character but yeah i'm gonna go with you not too scary at all so next we're gonna get into the creep factor which is how uneasy the movie leaves you are you looking over your shoulder are you sleeping with the lights on what did you think about the creep factor of the terrifier i wasn't in the movie it wasn't creepy i'm fine to mm. me and it was more slasher gore kind of thing. So yeah. I, I wasn't creeped out. It was more like you had talked about earlier, like creepy outside. Yeah. I'd be creeped out and I'd be checking my car. Or I'm fine something like that but yeah i wasn't creeped out in the movie i agree with you you know this movie didn't have an overall creepy tone i wasn't definitely creeped out but there was a residual creepiness uh, the way that i would describe it is is i wasn't creeped out in my own house yeah but when i went out to my car i checked the back seat i'm fine you know what I mean? Like yeah. for a quick second. So um, it wasn't like every fucking thing around me is creeping me the fuck out. Yeah. Uh, although I did find the the Terrifier had some creepiness. Yeah. You know, like a couple of his faces and shit like that. He was a little yeah. bit creepy, but he also had a hokiness to him. So it yeah. took the creepiness away. Yeah. It was just the idea that you could be stalked by some fucking murderous killer was more the creepiness mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I thought about creepy. Next, we're going to get into the gore factor of the Terrifier. Again, Gore Factor cannot bring a movie down because not all movies need gore, but being a gore lover, it definitely can bump a movie up in my books. Um, so what did you think about the gore in Terrifier? Yep, there was gore, all gore all the time. Gore galore. It was, it was so bloody and messy and gross. And it was just, yeah, it was, yep. All blood, all the time. Yeah, I agree, man. This movie was gory from beginning to end. Yeah. Uh, it was a bloody-ass slasher flick. Ah! 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 
plenty of completely brutal deaths. Oh. Uh, one where he just stabs a dude over and over. One he actually saws a girl in half. Pussy first. I'm fine. It was All the disgusting. way down. It was disgusting. I will it forever so dub gross. that the coochie cut. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, oh my God. You, get, <laughs> you get a really good coochie cut in this movie. I knew you'd like coochie cut. <laughs> That's so funny. I knew you'd like coochie cut. Oh my Yo, God. Yo, this movie has coochie cut, stabbing, everything, <laughs> man. Like, you need this. If you want gore, that's where this movie shines. Don't miss a terrifier. Gory as hell. Gory was great. Yeah. Gore galore. <laughs> So, next we're going to go over the acting and characters in this movie. Um, what did you think about the acting and characters in Terrifier? It was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. Absolutely. No, but like seriously. It no, was like... it was seriously B-movie styles. Yeah. The acting in this movie was just like really bad. Uh, I will say though, the Terrifier was good. Yeah. He was a good character. Yeah. Even like his faces when he was like pissed off or when he would be like... And just it do weird so things. Gross. He was good. I like the terrifier, but yeah. And... Everybody else in the movie was like B role acting for sure. Yeah. I didn't really like the characters in this movie too much, except for the terrifier. But then again, I guess that's what the movie was really about. True. You True. know what I did like is it almost just the way the film was and the music and the view, it I, I don't know if they were trying to harken back to almost B. 80 B movie slasher. Yeah, that's what it felt. Do you like. know what I mean? That's what it felt like. So if that's what they were trying to do, they did a good then they job. were do they did a good job of it. If they were trying to make us take these actresses seriously, didn't do the best job on characters. And overall, even if that was their aim, it still missed because it was just horrible. It was so nobody's going into an no. abandoned building to pee. And then did you see the bathroom? Yeah, and the bathroom. It was disgusting. just yeah. I'm fine. It was, was it was gross. had a lot of disgustingness in it, but yeah. that's what I'm gonna say about the characters. So next we're gonna get into the story of this movie. So Adri, what did you think about the story in the Terrifier? It was non-existent. The story, I mean, obviously we had to have some kind of story, right? But I mean, this is a horror movie. It was just gore and slasher and killing. <laughs> And that's all this movie yeah. was. It really, the story, she, you, she's completely right. The story was so thin. Uh, it even just played off one of the most common tropes. Maniac mm -hmm. escapes yeah. and runs wild, right? Like, you don't really get anything groundbreaking as far as story goes here. But again, it was a really good for what it was, a gore flick. Um, there were times that I almost thought this movie was comedy. Some douchebag in a costume acting like a retard because it's Halloween. Like, I thought it was comedy oh, yeah. horror, but it wasn't. And that's how the acting and the story really played it. Uh, it really just took part in one abandoned building where he just goes buck wild, kills everybody. Yeah. Um, budget probably wasn't the best. The story did display one of my most hated horror movie tropes, and that is the one stab. This movie, the story, oh, pla this man. movie was plagued. The story was plagued with one stabs, man. Yeah. And by that, I mean, you fucking have an ice pick. You stab the terrifier once in the leg. shoulder, leg, and he falls down. You could easily Stop go fucking buck. And he's on the ground writhing. You could just go hard. There's one part where she even has like a big ass board. Or like, yeah, what? beats him over the head. He falls down almost unconscious. She just drops the board and runs away. Why would it? Listen, I'm going to tell you all of this right now. Check it. If the fucking terrifier was in front of me and I knocked him down with a board, I fucking promise you, I am swinging that board at his head until his head is pulp. Especially yeah. if I seen him do fucking coochie yeah. cuts and shit. That shit is way too much. I know I'm next. There's no way I would let this fucking... Wait, I don't have a coochie, but I mean, like, I'm next game. Oh, yeah, the fuck you're up. next. You're next. I'm next. Yeah. There's no way I would let him fucking live. I would deal with the consequences. I would br murder him brutally. Yep. Like, I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop. There's too many times I stabbed this dude once and fucking left him there to die. And just, he didn't. And it was ridiculous. And, it and they did it. And, and you know what? Once or twice a movie, I get it. One time, you know, you stab him. Oh, my God. You are you do it while you're falling. The knife falls. You just want to get out of there. You're trying to get to the car. You fucking just leave him. You run. You try to get in the car. You and try you to get, get out there. get in the car and you drive and you try away. To, but, but of course, the car doesn't start or whatever. However, yeah, horror movies go. True. But in this movie, yeah. there is probably five or six times after this guy is running on an insane rampage that they literally, like, 
hit him once and then like run away. Like it's fucking dumb. It's the only I thing like I didn't like about the story of the movie. I think the one stabs need to go. You need to find better ways for them to escape. You know yeah. what I mean? Instead of stabbing him once and not finishing him the fuck off. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's going to be my only thing. That's what I thought about the story. Lastly, we're going to get into the overall score of this movie. What we thought overall of it. Was it good? Was it bad? What did you think overall about the Terrifier, Adri? I would say 2.5 mm-hmm. for a gore movie yes because i feel like that's a category all in itself mm-hmm. right it is. so i would say it's a pretty good like gore movie and 2.5 would be my score oh okay uh, i'm actually gonna agree with you 100 percent. i thought that this movie as a gore movie was a middle of the road you know what i mean it could have been a little bit better i f- i still feel like i've seen gore movies that were executed a little bit better than this and we're even more gross. So I'm going to be honest. For what it was, I'm going to give this movie a 2.5. Uh, I did. I would probably only give this movie a 1.5 had it not been gory. Mm. Like, uh, the gore in this movie was so over the top, it bumped the score an entire yeah. point. Yeah. So if you're not into slasher gore flicks, take note. This movie's a 1.5. Yeah. If you like slasher gore flicks, I would say 2.5, maybe even push it to a 3 if you just want to see brutal death. I thought about that. Definitely kind of a dual score on this one because, again, I don't think gore should be the end-all be-all, mm-hmm. but it kind of is in this movie. Yeah. So I think you guys should know that going in. Thanks a lot for joining us for another little review that we have here on 365 Horror Vlogs. This time we reviewed The Terrifier. Uh, we liked it fair enough. It was a good gory movie. Um, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, hit the bell do all that good stuff we're always gonna have a lot more movies coming for you um and also hey hit the comments if you think that we were wrong if you think that this movie was fucking film (laughs) genius tell us that tell us we're wrong man tell us why the acting was so good tell us all that stuff we love that kind of stuff we want a lot of uh back and forth um we want to know what you guys think as well and hit me up if you think you could scare me or you can uh rattle me or anything like that please suggest movies try to shock me you know what i mean i've seen august underground i've seen serbian film i've seen all that i'm gonna bring my thoughts on all those movies to you because that's what this is kind of an amalgamation of my watching but yes if you think you can scare me (laughs) hit me up you know what i mean until the next review we're gonna see you next time guys for 365 horror vlogs peace Ha 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 ha.